What may be a major intelligence coup could upend plans by ISIS to attack this country. David Martin reported last night that an ISIS defector gave Britain's Sky News thousands of documents containing the names and addresses of ISIS terrorists. David has more tonight. The documents are forms each foreign fighter had to fill out when entering ISIS-controlled territory in Iraq and Syria. They are considered authentic by Germany's interior minister, who says his police obtained copies of their own. They will be shared with other intelligence agencies, including the CIA and FBI. CBS News contributor and former deputy CIA director Michael Morell sees no reason to doubt the document's authenticity and says they will undermine the ability of ISIS to conduct attacks in the U.S. and other countries. If you're ISIS now and you know that Western intelligence has their hands on these, you can't send those people back to conduct an attack because you know they're going to be, they're going to be picked up as soon as they cross that border. Each form has 23 blocks asking for name, alias, date of birth, marital status, country of residence, education, profession, and phone number. One block asks fighters to choose a position to apply for. And according to an analysis of one batch of documents, 120 of 1,700 recruits volunteered for suicide missions. There are said to be at least 10 Americans on the list. One of them, Douglas Robert, the alias for an Illinois man named Douglas MacArthur McCain, was already known to Western intelligence and has since been killed on the battlefield. The guys who went that you didn't know, that's the value of this because it puts new people on your radar. The documents are two years old. Some of them are duplicates and some of them encrypted. So it's not clear exactly how many active fighters have had their identities blown. But Scott, it could be several thousand. David Martin at the Pentagon for us tonight. David, thank you.